Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting 24 different types of flower on a single canvas. So story time. When I'm editing this video this morning, um, it, was, it was supposed to be a 10 minute, 10 minute or 15 minute long video because I filmed all the footages for me painting every single one of flower and um, it turns out the video is too long and my laptop crashed and the video, the original 10 minute video didn't save. So here I am editing this shorter, definitely like 6 minute video. Um, so yeah, that has taught me something. I mean, my computer cannot hold that long of video processing, so yeah. Now moving on to the actual painting, so then I broke it down into different parts and kind of just skipping through as you can see now. So um, I painted the... So I used around six or seven different times to paint this. And um, to mention again, I am not wearing the same t-shirt every day. I have two of the same shirt and I switched, switched it around. So there you go. Anyway, so I started off wanting to paint this painting because I wanted to practice my techniques on painting plants because my last attempt at painting a tree was a big fail. So um, I wanted to practice um, and definitely fl painting flowers is so much easier than painting trees because it has this main object of flower and then leaves around it. Rather than tree, there's just messy, a bunch of uh, leaves and branches and it's really hard to get it right. So I originally wanted to paint 30 flowers, so 6 flowers and 5 rolls, but however when I was painting the last roll, um, I feel like there wasn't enough space for me to paint 2 more rolls, so I decided to go for one more. However, because the space was a little too big, I wasn't really controlling the size of the flowers, so they kind of went a little overboard and all of the 6 flowers in the last row are all touching each other. But um, I think it actually kind of shows the wild wilderness of the flowers and um, it's a pretty pretty good way to show that they're different from the ones that are more fixed on the top three rolls. Um, so all these plants are actually also herbaceous plants um, and I think plants have a lot of connections between humans um, for example if you look at human blood vessels and plant um, vessels to transfer um, sunlight and water you can see that they have some similarities and that's also a surprise um, that I drew actually on the back of the canvas to um, show the human blood vessels and you'll see it at the end I think that interesting twist just adds a little bit more to this painting that I have now because the front is more leaning towards a decorative side of a painting. Um, um, I wanted to make it more meaningful but I'm trying not to apply just um, meaningful stuff hard onto something that I didn't originally start to think that it has meaning to it. So yeah, that's um, what I've decided to do and that's also why I painted the blood vessels on the back but not anything more than just flowers on the front. Now time to talk about my favorite few flowers and this whole painting of 24 flowers. And obviously if you have a favorite one from all of this and I will show a close up video at the end, please comment down below as in which flower was your favorite. Um, and my favorites are two actually, so they're both at the end of the two rolls on the top. So it's one of them's a yellow little flower with the black center and the other one's the pink flower. Um, and basically now I'm finally finishing up with the last flower. Um, and then after the last flower, I also stepped away from the painting and looked at the whole thing to see what I can improve on. And so I used some white paint and painted it here and there around the flowers to bring the whole piece together. So here it is, the final painting of the 24 different herbaceous plants or flowers. Um, please comment down below, as I said, which one's your favorite. And as you can see, the last row is really wild um, comparing to the first three. And now I'm just flipping the side and showing you the blood, human blood vessels that I drew on the back of the painting. Um, so I basically just used red paint and it kind of looks sketchy, but it kind of actually looks cool as well. I will show a more clear 
um, photo at the end to show you what the front and back looks like. This is the original photo that I was inspired on and I kind of just uh, copied it from this photo. Um, here's the painting under the sunlight and next is this painting um, more clear in the photo form. Thank you so much for watching and I had so much fun doing this painting. It was also very relaxing but so much pain and editing the video but here I am bringing this video down to five and a half minutes. Um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.